10 episodes, 30 minutes each. Yep, I can binge that in a day. Glow, or Glamorous Ladies of Wrestling, starring Allison Brie, Betty Glippen, Mark Marin, a host of other great actresses, and created by Liz Flayhive and Carly Minch. The new Netflix original show takes place in the 1980s and focuses on a group of women, a director, a producer, who are trying to launch a women's wrestling television show. Glow is part comedy and drama, with great characters and story. Setting the show in the 80s allows it to capture great nostalgic vibes, and it uses its period costumes and sets to great effect. The short 10 episode season left me wanting more for the show, and hopefully season two starts shooting after this becomes another Netflix success story. The first season of GLOW details the creation of the Wrestling League television show. The story first focuses on Allison Bree's character Ruth, and her struggles to find acting work. She gets sucked into GLOW as a last resort, but eventually fully embraces wrestling and the character persona she eventually creates. One of the critiques for the show is how long it took Ruth to find a wrestling persona. It took one episode too long. The joke of her not being able to find a suitable role for the show wore thin before she found one. The show overall starts off a little slow and doesn't find its footing until the end of episode three. After this episode, the next six flew by and were nothing but a joy to watch. One of the main reasons for this was because Ruth's story settled and she started to progress as a character. Brie did a fantastic job in the role and while the development was slow at first, it finished extremely strong, like the show overall. Betty Glippen as Debbie is also great in the show. Her character is complex like Ruth's and she gives a nuanced performance. All of the characters in the show are interesting and can be expanded on in following seasons. Much like Orange is the New Black has done, there is a wealth of story and development for every single person in the show. The first season focused on the story between Debbie and Ruth, but the show could easily transition to numerous other characters. There is still more story for Debbie and Ruth, and the show can highlight them, but there is a wealth of plot lines for numerous seasons to come. The other standout is Mark Marin, who plays the down-on-his-luck director Sam. Marin's deadpan, sarcastic humor is fantastic for the show, and he had me laughing numerous times in every episode. Almost every single joke he has in the show works. He bears all for the show and his character has more depth than it may seem during the first few episodes. The characters for the show and the story which unfolds is what makes GLOW's first 10 episodes so successful. The show is about wrestling, and the progression the girls go through to become competent wrestlers is a vital part to the story. They start off not knowing any basics, and eventually become competent in the ring. There are some great wrestling sequences shown in the series. There is one fantastic 80s style training montage which was perfectly placed in an episode and touched all the right notes. 80s montages were a staple for movies in the decade, and while they may be cheesy, they can also be well done to advance a story. The example in GLOW paid tribute to the method and did a good job of advancing how Ruth and Debbie learned wrestling. They could have done a few more training sequences overall to show more advancement of the girls, but the progression in the show was believable to me. GLOW had the right amount of balance of wrestling and other story elements to not lose focus on either part. The next season of GLOW could show the rise of the show, with the ladies gaining fame and notoriety, and how they handled success. It would be a natural progression after showing how the show got off the ground. They could branch out and give more backstory and depth to some of the other characters. I would think they could either double the time length of the episodes, or just expand their number to accomplish this. But I also don't want them to extend if the story isn't there. The show had an interesting time length and number of episodes for a series, but it worked for the story. This is the biggest advantage to Netflix. It lets showrunners tell the story how they see fit, in whatever fashion makes sense. GLOW should get a second season, and hopefully it catches on so the story can continue. GLOW is an easy binge, and once you get past the third episode, you won't want to stop until you find out how the story ends. If you're a fan of the 80s, wrestling, or just good television in general, give GLOW a shot. Comment and let me know if you have seen GLOW and what you thought. Are there starting to become too many 80 themed shows? Like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching.